Hello beautiful short and happy and healthy people, Tia Marks here. Now yes, tricky time, it is the coronavirus and in this video I'm going to give you guys 7 tips to stay strong, happy and healthy even though there is an epidemic going on out there. Now the thing is, it has not hit Australia as bad as it has in other countries. We have not gone full lockdown, and most people are working from home, a lot of people started losing their jobs, hours have been cut and people are starting to either binge eat, stay at home, get a little bit lazier, start using excuses to avoid gyms because they think they're really grubby, um, avoid actually doing exercise or leaving the house and they're using this bit as an excuse to have a bit of a summer holiday, a bit of time to relax. Now, even though there is a risk of de there is a risk of dealing with a disease and there is a risk of catching disease, it does not mean this is the time to start being unhealthy, to stop your fitness routines and actually start getting fat and lazy. This is the time to actually work on you. Now, this virus is teaching us anything is that health is the most important thing for us. That once we get sick, our body is fucked. We need to try and keep as healthy and as strong as possible. The people that are dying from this disease are people that have chronic illnesses or are usually like a little bit older or already has a pre-existing condition. Now, most pre-existing conditions are usually caused from lack of physical activity and lack of healthy eating. And it does not mean that right now you need to stay at home and start eating, uh, start binge eating chips and chocolate and comfort food. You need to actually make sure you're still eating as healthy as possible. So here's seven tips to stay strong, happy and healthy during this time of crisis. Tip number one is keep your routine. Now, one of the things we can all fall into is staying up really late, watching Netflix, sleeping in because we don't have to be anywhere or we can start work whenever we want on our computer. If you stop your routine, then your days will just fly by and you'll get absolutely nothing done. You need to try and keep a routine as much as possible. This means waking up at the same time, going to bed at the same time, keeping your daily activity going and trying to eat consistently like you were before and start and don't just start like snacking throughout the day because you're bored. Number two is keep moving. Because you're not because you're staying at home does not mean you don't have to move around. There's other ways to move. Now if you're in full lockdown, if you're stuck at home and you physically aren't allowed to leave the house, some places allow you to leave for up to two kilometers, which means you can go for a walk. Now if you are worried about walking and being around people and because you are around people a little bit older, wake up a little bit earlier. Go for a walk at 3 a.m. Go for a walk at 10 p.m. Change up your schedule a little bit so you're walking when there's not as many people around if that is your biggest worry. Now at home, you can start doing yoga, you can start doing more stretching, there's a lot of HIIT training, there's some bodyweight workouts, you can buy some kettlebells online, there's other ways to work out at home that doesn't involve going into a big commercial gym. Now there are some little micro personal training studios that are still open around the world, so I recommend trying to find them if you can, otherwise moving around outside, go to your local park, do a set of chin ups, do some burpees, do some squats, do some sprints, or do a workout in front of your TV. Number three is meditate. This is a pretty stressful time and no one is really being super productive. Everyone's mind is elsewhere. Everyone is thinking about the disease or they're not thinking about work or they're not actually focusing on themselves. So doing a little bit of a meditation challenge right now is a good way to kind of bring yourself back and trying to get rid of a lot of that noise. So using like the Headspace app or FX, I'll put it in the link below, and a couple other awesome apps that you can start using and actually start challenging yourself to get into meditation if you're not already someone that's a meditator. Number four is start reading. Now start buying some books online or start downloading or even audio books. Take this time to actually better yourself in some way or do those things that you never thought you really had time to do before. I recommend um, if you are going to do some stretching and yoga, maybe even put an audio book on at the same time, a little bit of multitasking. But take advantage of having that little bit extra free time, take advantage of being home alone and actually enjoying time, a little bit of quiet time to yourself and finding a really good book or finding a series of books that you can start enjoying will not only benefit you, but also give you that chance to kind of bring yourself back and to kind of get rid of a lot of that noise. Tip number five is eat extremely clean. Now do not start binge eating like I said and stop eating comfort food. You can actually start eating clean and healthy when you're at home and even make it quite convenient. So things like tuna, rice, frozen veggies, those things you can stock up on that are really quick and easy to make. But I recommend if you are going to go into lockdown, stuff your house with conveniently healthy snacks. Now 
when we're watching a movie you all want to snack on something i recommend buying things like some halo tops some really good popcorn some dark chocolate maybe some protein bars find some relatively healthy foods that you can snack on that aren't your snickers aren't your bags of chips aren't your candy aren't your unhealthy chocolate because whatever's in the house is what you're going to eat Number six, I kind of touched on before, but I recommend start doing full body workouts at home. This is some push-ups, this is some squats. There's some awesome little hit training things or some body weight strength workouts that you can do. After about two weeks of not working out, you start to lose muscle mass. And I think about a week, week and a half, you start to lose your cardiovascular fitness. Now, right now, the goal is to be as fit and strong as possible to fight this disease that is coming. Most of us are going to get it on some level, but the fitter and healthier and stronger you are, the less it's going to impact you and your life. And tip number seven is take this time to actually start connecting with people that you haven't talked to for a while. Reach out on social media to some of those old besties from high school or your cousin or your grandparents or uh, our old school friend. Start reaching out to people that you kind of haven't been able to talk to for a while because one you've been too busy or you haven't responded to them in a few years till these times be like hey how are you how's this affecting you how's life what have you been up to we're sitting at home in front of the tv anyway or we're kind of procrastinating doing things so let's take this time to actually reach out to other people and reach out to some of those loved ones or some of those old friends that we may have lost along the way over the last few years everyone right now because we're not getting as much physical connection is looking for connection so it might not just benefit you you have no idea what it could do for that person too Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Those are seven tips of ways to stay strong, happy, and healthy during this lockdown period. Not only that, you can also adopt a pet, take the opportunity to start spring cleaning your house. Um, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other things you could start doing in this time to actually make this time benefit you. And if there's anything I miss or something that you think that you're gonna start doing or a cool habit that you wanna share, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, thumbs up, subscribe button, and keeping strong, happy, and healthy. I am actually talking and moving my arms that much that my watch literally thinks I am running and doing exercise right now. Hmm. YouTubing burns calories.